This isn't just me making excuses, okay? Welcome back to another block! It's October already! Spooky season! Hope you guys are alright and not thinking about Christmas already! Don't you dare! First, I just wanna thank my patrons Sebastian, Karchiva, Iron Agro, and Emmanuel. You're very kind people, your support is amazing, and I love you. Money! <sighs> Scary stuff to talk about, ain't it? And I never thought of art as a means to earn any. I know many countries still struggle with that. If the kids chooses to be a doctor, everyone rejoices. If the kid chooses to be an artist, well, it's basically a funeral. I can't know for sure, and I don't have any other references, but my God tells me, where I live, it's 10 times this situation. Up until today, my grandma still asks me why I didn't study the same thing as my mom. What's animation's working field? Look, your cousin makes more money! <clears throat> I digress. My concept of currency here has been contracted in a way that makes me feel like no one will actually spend any money on art stuff. I see this in conventions, some people won't even pay 5 bucks for a poster or an orino. And the worst thing is... I understand it. I was raised to think art isn't as important and it's just a hobby. When I came back to Debian after a few years of not drawing anything, I was studying sound engineering. It was supposed to be like my real job and drawing fan art once in a while, my free time activity. At the beginning, I would draw fan art just for fun and for the sake of nostalgia. People seemed to like it and asked me if I did requests, of course, for free. It actually seemed like a normal thing. Art is just a plaything, right? Many, but many requests kept piling up. People really wanted art. I made a group of friends because of that. The problem is one of them praised me for this. She would say I was practically an angel because she thought it was pretty ridiculous that artists would charge for their work, that they should do it for the love of art. Me, without any knowledge of the field, I agreed and continued with the free requests until I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do and I started to say no seemed like a very wrong idea at the time. I thought people would get mad at me, especially that friend. I remember it being a bit of a struggle. When I finally said I couldn't take more requests though, people didn't take it as badly as I thought. But I also felt bad for those who didn't get their request. I do like making people happy with what I do, so I still felt a little guilty. It was at that time I realized then I needed some sort of compensation. I realized it was no easy task to make art for others, so maybe I could get something in return. However, I still didn't think it was worth money, especially with these guys around. So I slowly transitioned to art trades. I will do art trades with anyone actually, but long story short, some of them will not do their part. So I was left with nothing half of the time. I thought fellow artists will understand the work behind every piece better, but it made me feel like people would still like to get art for free no matter what. So I started to trade art with only selected people, people I knew were responsible, and I will make gifts only to my friends. Many, many gifts, especially for that friend. Some users will hold contests where the price was usually this sort of currency called DA points. There are purchases with real money though. I started participating, won a few contests, even got myself a premium account. Now called Core, I think? And I learned people will pay commissions from other artists with these points. This currency seemed harmless enough, so I wonder, will people really at least pay me with this? It was that kind of mindset that kept me afraid. So I charged like 10 points. Like... I mean, mother 10 points? I was so afraid my friends would think of me as a shameless miser and that people would still want free art. I devalued my work to ashes. And I was so afraid too, I started with only sketches. And I would still think how much would be alright for people to be willing to pay for a drawing. It's because, for people here, it ain't much. For a long time, it was hard to find my real price tag for my art. Luckily, they even did it for me. In a way, they realized people pay commissions with these points, so they added a special widget so people can buy them by pressing a button. And furthermore, now you could turn points back to real money. Many users explained that 80 points now were equal to $1, though the A will take a fee of 20%, so the dollar will actually be like 100 points. 100 was considered too much for us, so I still charge like 50 or so for a sketch, but because DA will take a percentage out of it, I thought it'd be better to just charge the 0.5 bucks directly. And that's when people started with the sentence Why so cheap? Charge more! I was walking on a thin line, or at least that's how it felt. I was confused because I was still afraid and thinking in pesos. I was thinking a buck in CLP was too much for a simple sketch. People here will at least pay the equivalent of 2 bucks for something color, right? Man, 
but can't really elevate my prices at once like that ever since I've been trying to gradually charge a little bit more each time. It doesn't feel right to abruptly charge too much. I still don't have any reference of what's too much. None of my friends like people charging for art to begin with. Speaking of which, this friend I mentioned started to act salty. Even today, I don't really know why. I just assume it was because I started to do commissions and drag all of my artist friends to do so as well and made them learn that it was just another job. Because it is! So, today's lesson is art in general, whether it's illustration, comics, animation, even music, it's just like another office job. You sit there in front of a computer on a desk for hours doing what you do, whether it's numbers, letters or doodles, and it should be remunerated as such. Don't let yourself be surrounded by these people who think of you as a scammer and treat you like crap for charging your work. My commissions are still cheap, I guess. But like I said, I can't suddenly charge too much. It's just not fair for the people who didn't make it to the month list. But it's worth mentioning that I am very thankful for those who still commission and support me after all these years. I'm glad you like my art and how I draw your characters. I just love making people happy anyway. And better yet if I can make a living out of it. You've seen me grow and learn about all this stuff. I love helping too, so if this was helpful for you, I appreciate if you give this video a like and if you want to catch more of this, subscribe! This channel is slowly growing. Also, all of my art stuff you can find it on Instagram and Twitter. I also make live streams, so make sure to check my Twitch and if you want to support my content, you can become a patron or buy me a coffee. You can find all the links on the description. Thank you for watching, please take care and see you next time! I want to play game